just waiting until it went by to see. I couldn't remember whether it had a winch on or not. It hadn't got a winch, so it might well have been just used for hauling um, timber drains or uh, um, semi trailers. So a nice restoration on that 1952 Atkinson going by there. Very distinctive vehicle, of course. As is this, as the K9 in military service. This particular vehicle was built in 1954, as you'll see on the back of it. And then Morris Commercial. Uh, Morris Commercial was, of course, the uh, commercial vehicle section of Morris Motors. This is the Morris Commercial PV van, owned by uh, Bill and Aileen McTravers from Wellington. And uh, well, you can see where he spent his working life, City Road in Bristol. And uh, Bill restored that over a few years, did a huge amount of work on it. And then uh, Nick Baldwin, driving along here in his uh, Albion bus. Heba, body work on that. Uh, thank you for leaving the door open, Nick. I can read the name of bodybuilder. And uh, that one worked for Guernsey Railways in actual fact, was one of a fairly large fleet that they operated over there. And Nick has had it now for, I think, a year or so. Came on our New Year's Day road run in Taunton last January. That's the KV cab, clear view, so K-L-W-E-R, I think it was. The clear view cab. Um, made those uh, ERFs very distinctive. And uh, ERF, of course, they did both the holsters with the Albion oil engine bag. As we said, there were some people in uh, a certain time in our history that wouldn't use the word diesel because they said it was German, so they used oil engine instead. And Albion were actually one of those companies. That is a serious comedy. Um, this one uh, owned by uh, the Gilbert family and uh, nicely binded uh, now in the uh, fine writing of its original owner, Edward Jones of Minehead. Um, you go to a rally in Derry's there. He's always ready to have a go at all this, whatever else is going on. That's a CD45 tractor. CD means trade driven, see the trade drive underneath. Gardner engine, of course, Gardner diesel engine. And that was built by special license during the Second World War, and there was a limit on building the vehicles, but that was built as a timber tractor, hence the larger rear wheels. 45, incidentally, was the uh, total haulage capacity for the particular vehicle, an individual vehicle. And then Alex Elkingham coming along here with uh, this uh, scammel, although it's banned as a Leyland, it is in fact a scammel. And uh, this is the type of vehicle that was used in uh, quite considerable numbers by the uh, British forces, um, the Scammel Crusader. This one dates from 1976 and was originally a military vehicle, but uh, Alex was uh, uh, restored in this, uh, this beautiful uh, balance box tractor.